All right, we're out here testing the uh, WFO, the Wide Max here. Uh, also testing out the new Castle 1717 motor in there. See, it's kind of buried. Uh, giving this a quick run on 8S. I've got a geared 20 on the pinion with a 54 tooth Mod 1 spur because that's what I had at the moment to run this. So we're just gonna see how it does. I got the GPS in there and also have a uh, temperature sensor installed. So that way my radio will tell me what's going on. So anyways, I'm gonna give it a go here and see what it'll do. Super smooth, even though it's not even censored. <laughs> well. to 99 degrees according to the temperature sensor. Definitely doesn't have the power of a big can motor where it'll just wheelie at any speed, but if you want a little replacement for a stock motor, it's got good power. Definitely seems like this works pretty good. Woo! <laughs> I almost flipped it. Caught one of those cones in the road. Let's see, our motor is up to 115 according to my temperature sensor, if you can see that, 117 now. Let me get the temp gun, see what it's saying. I do have a good fan on it with a heat sink, so. Yeah, it's pretty good, so I probably should gear up some, because this motor does not appear to be hot at all. Yes, he of course is totally fine. So, see we got the mod one gears in there. Let's see, look at the GPS. See how fast it was. Stop it. Read it. Let's see it uh, about 50 miles an hour, almost 49. And by the temperature, I could probably gear it up a little bit. So 
so overall not bad pretty good definitely a good replacement for the stock motor if you want something a little bit smaller that'll still run pretty good definitely has good power and it's smooth not even censored if you ran it with a mamba monster x 8s it would even be more smooth than this This truck's pretty heavy too. I weighed it with batteries and this one's 20. It was just a little bit shy of 28 pounds. another good speed pass here we'll check the GPS again Full speed turn with the wide truck there. <laughs> up to 127 so it's still not even bad and I've been running this for about seven eight minutes almost looks like check the GPS again see where it's at so I got 51 miles an hour now so that's pretty good so definitely a good uh, good basher set and that's with these heavier Badlands tires if you went to something a little bit lighter might be less stress on it and run a little cooler and if you had a stock truck without the wide arms that was a little bit lighter weight definitely a good choice nice smooth motor good power definitely fun so anyways I'm gonna leave it at that check us out WFORC Racing our website is uh, wforcustoms.com and you can check out the gears and other stuff that we do for the X-Max. Lots of good stuff. Battery trays are a nice addition. You got wide, uh, big, tall, wide batteries. You can strap them down. Good stuff. Anyways, that's it for now. Check it out, have fun, take care.